Let's travel back to the medieval ages of Minecraft, unlocking hundreds of new modded tools, deadly creatures, and wait, is that a dragon? This is how he survived 100 days in medieval Minecraft. Okay, now this is interesting. So our options, uh, we could be a regular human, which is boring. We could be an elf, which are great marksmen, except we can't wear very good armor. And there's a bunch more options, but I'm more focused on the show. <clears throat> This gives us nine extra inventory slots, along with armor protection because our skin is so strong, and we can break stones and stuff without having to use a pickaxe. We also get to choose our divine blessing, and this is the one I'm going to choose. And our final thing we get to choose is our class. This is the one I wanna go with. And here we are, we are in the overworld, specifically a prairie. Man, I cannot see anything. Why is there so much stuff in the way? Wow, this looks so beautiful, oh my gosh. Now, I do see a tree over there in the distance, so let's go ahead and go mine that up. Did I just pick like the world's biggest tree? I swear this thing just never ends. Whoa, I just realized how many books we have in our inventory. Sure, they're important, but I don't care for right now. But you know what I do care for? Clothing, specifically clothing available at shopkingbob.com, where you can find hoodies, shirts, and even mugs if that's what you're into. For a limited time, I have 30k clothing to celebrate hitting 30k subs. Thank you all so much for joining me on this adventure, and I hope we can continue to grow in the future. Anyways, back to the video. Let's get ourselves a crafting table and some sticks, and then we can get ourselves some tool- wait a minute. No we don't. This is not vanilla Minecraft. Can I just literally like- oh my gosh. My hand is a pick- this is insane! We just made Stone Age without having to craft anything. This is weird, actually. This- <laughs> I'm not used to medieval Minecraft, but I like it. I feel like my mom when she gets really mad. You know what they say, skip the wooden tools and go straight to the stone ones. Let's get a pickaxe, a shovel, an axe, and a sword. All right, getting an upgrade accomplished. Now, is there anything actually cool we can head over to? I am seeing a lot of- that is a cliff. Awesome. I guess now that I've fallen down here, is there any coal I can just kind of grab off the surface without going too far? Oh, I can break stone but not coal with my hand? Really? How much sense does that make? We might as well grab a lot while we're down here because I don't know when I want to go back to the cave. And also, getting iron it would be pretty nice early on. Looking at our mini-map, it is a little bit like cheating, but I can say that there's no enemies near me, so we are good for right now. Now, as a shulk, I do already technically have some armor slots, but it really is not that much, so getting armor as fast as we can would definitely be a help. What can we do with raw silver? Okay, after a little bit of research, it's not that important. Iron definitely will do us more good. Not a diamond. Wait, what? Wait, what does this do? Is this like a thing? With the sun coming up, I believe it's time we get back to our expedition. If I can see through the stupid grass. I kind of want to do something irresponsible. So we could craft like a, I don't know, like a chest plate, for example. That would probably be useful to us. But what if we put one ingot right there? grab the rest, and then do a line of sticks. We could craft a scythe. You know, I'm not the most responsible person, but uh, thank you. And now we own a scythe. Bro, tell me that's not the coolest thing you've ever seen. I don't know what's in there, but I feel like it's time we go find out. Now real quick, let me just test this out. Oh my gosh. Dude, I feel like I turned Minecraft into a medieval RPG. That's what this feels like. Dude, that's so cool. <laughs> what is that? Get out of here. <laughs> ah, it's a creeper. Yo, nice try, buddy. Nice try. Oh, I keep jumping off cliffs. I gotta stop doing that. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. <laughs> this might be the coolest mod pack I've done yet. I love this. Also, in the top left corner, you might be noticing my FPS. Uh, if you want to maybe help me improve that, you could consider subscribing. That'd be a big help. Oh my gosh. I know I use that term a lot, but look at the amount of pillagers that are in front of us. They're already shooting at me. Okay. I didn't realize we we're breaking into a freaking pillager in camp. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh my god, that guy just got absolutely obliterated. Hey, uh, sir, could I kindly ask you to, uh, back away from 
me. Like, I get I'm on your property and all, but, uh, please die. Please die. Oh, man. Not a big fan of that fella. Uh, perhaps I shouldn't tab out over here. Let me retreat real quick. Now, before we do anything that has to do with that, I see some sheep directly behind us. So let's go ahead and go grab ourselves a bed. Why do you look so creepy? A sheep. Is that a medieval tower I'm seeing? Yo, what's back here, my friend? This place looks so cool. I'm seeing a distinct amount of pillager icons. I was just about to say that. What the heck? Why did I just get launched up? Uh, I'm not a fan of that, actually. Is it that guy? He has a boss bar. I'm just now seeing that. Get out of here with your boss bar. Oh, God. He's gonna kill me. Run. The frick. Get me out of that. Oh, thank God. This thing counts as a sword. Sir, vacate the premises. Lum luminous crystal shard. I need to craft a bed that we can set there. Craft a new pickaxe. And then grab all this iron. I woke up on day three ready to fight. I grabbed my food from the furnaces, crafted a new chest plate, and prepared to take on some foes. Now, oh yeah, Tower of Power. Here we are. What do we got in this? A blood gem. What? Never heard of any of this. Chipped gem of arcane recovery. <laughs> Bro, how many gems do you guys have? What do we got? That sounded like TNT. Hold on a second. No. Oh. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's not good. Hey, did you guys know that you had TNT in your tower? <laughs> I think I found out. Kind of want to go over to this main part now. Did you just shoot me midair? I'm not even mad. I'm just impressed. Uh, they have some goodies. I think. I don't know what half this stuff means. A magic mirror. You may learn about this relic on the researching table. How do I access my... Did I just dash? Wait, what? <laughs> that looks crazy. Okay. Oh, there's a sword button on the chest. That's cool. Uh, 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 there's a skill point tree? Buy skill point. Oh, it takes my XP levels. Wait, so what do you actually do with it? Okay, I'll go for more saturation. That seems like it'll be useful for me. Crafted food gives you plus 2% damage for a minute. That sounds cool. Yeah, sure. Might as well. Aha! Wait, I found it for a second. There we go. Shulker inventory. So I can just throw whatever I want in here. After getting away from the tower, I decided to be generous and help this guy out. Definitely didn't steal his internal organs just so I could get some tools out of it. After killing this pillager, I stumbled across, I think, a boss fight? I don't actually know what this is. What does that mean? Where did this come from? What? No, we're not those flying little rats. Wait, what the heck? I don't want to jump down there because I feel like I'm going to die if I do that. And so I ran away, finding myself once again in the pillager kingdom. Should I be scared about stepping over here? Also, iron golem, you're going to have to go, bucko. There's that guy gone. I don't think you guys are at all able to get me. I'm going to fight you like this. This feels fair. Oh gosh, that guy hurts. Goodness golly gracious. Ah, I gotta be careful here. I see a chest right there. I gotta go to it. I gotta go. I'll dig if I have to. They'll never see this coming. A crossbow. That's actually useful. I will take that. Do you have arrows as well? Hey, buddy. Okay, there's that guy too. Don't know if I need to be worried about him. That guy I might need to be. He's so fast. You want to shoot your buddy? Shoot your buddy. I dare you. I'm not your buddy. Did we take them all out yet? I feel like there's just an infinite amount that just keep going more and more. <gasps> Stop! Oh my gosh. Hey guys, fellas. Um, we can be civil about this, right? Okay, one more and you're dead, buddy. Get out of here, ghost. I ain't scared of no ghost. What do you think I am? Alright, if we can block off this. That sets us up a little better. Maybe releasing an iron golem would also help us hey buddy you're free if you want to be one chest we got another corrupt eye in it that's about it though hey man here i'm gonna let them in uh if you want to take them out mr iron golem that would be cool please shoot the golem by accident please shoot him Aww. Man, that guy just got destroyed. Oh, there he goes. The iron golem's going. Hey, hey, wait, wait. That's not how this game plays. You don't drop on me. Oh, golem's coming for him. <laughs> wait, 
I need to let more golems out. Be free, golem! Wait, there's a couple in here. I don't want to hit you by accident. All right, I've released several more golems. He's hitting him through the wall. Okay, now if we can bait these guys back in. Does this guy's not care that I'm here. I turn my back for a second. He's going. Get him, clay golem. Mess him up. Mess him up. <laughs> yes. We just got to aggro all of these guys on us. Oh, oh my gosh. He was right behind me. All right. All right, golems. Golems, do your thing. Mess him up. Oh, God. They're messing up the golems. He's winning. He's winning. Yes. I don't think I get any XP or anything from them killing them, but it's just funny to see them all die. It's good target practice. I'll give them that. Juked. Juked. Dead. Who's the pillager now? I feel like we need to heal up the golem. I guess we did get some iron. Yeah, we healed that guy up. Uh, you need clay to be healed. Is there any other, like, iron golems? There is! Nothing against the clay golems, but these guys help a little bit more. Wait, I just realized there's a hole upstairs. Is there anything up here? There's so many more golems. Wait, be free, my guy. Is it a bad idea to go up here? Probably is. Die! Okay, now that we're up here, they have a lot of wheat and so many chests. Wait, I really want to loot all of that. I mean, at this point, I think I should just commit to, like, conquering this place. Because my quest to be king doesn't need to come easy. I have to earn that. Come on. <gasps> oh, that's the last time I fight fairly. I suddenly don't really want to fight you. Call it a change of heart. You know, I was winning that fight for a second. <laughs> it's the slowness going away. <gasps> hey, partner! Stop it, sir. I'm just here for loot. Ring of strength? Ah! There's a witch. She's laughing at me, bro. Oh, <laughs> I think he killed him. It says it can be worn as a ring, but it's not letting me. Do I have to, like, actually... Oh. I'm so confused. Did I just consume the ring? Whew, that was a lot. How about we slow it down just a tiny bit? Oh, wait. I found magic. Do something with this? What? Excuse me? The rest of day four really isn't that eventful. I got some loot from chests, and then I ended up going to sleep. Day five is more or less the same. Scroll of arrows! Until I discovered a frost spell. That sounds like it'd be really good, right? Frost spell! Did that do anything? <laughs> I thought that was going to do a lot more than it actually did. After deciding that I've ransacked this whole place pretty much as much as I could, I decided to finally head out, marking the end of the pillager camp fortress thingy. Looks like we have two more wizard towers in front of us. Uh, I don't know if this is the one that blew up earlier, but if so, I guess I know what to expect. Oh yeah, this looks very similar to the place from earlier. I guess it makes sense why the stairs are so hard to navigate. Let me guess, how did I know. Even then, I think just taking the books would be enough of a reason to come here. My inventory is so full of good stuff, I don't know what to take. My shulker inventory is also pretty full, but I can put emeralds in there. One more tower before the end of the day. This one I'm going to climb instead of taking the stairs. Climbing's too hard, so now I'm breaking in. Is there anything up here? Oh, there's just a chest. Another gem. I'm still unsure as to what to do with those. I guess we'll go ahead and sleep. And since we're up here, I can already see some structures. There's that place, and there's also that abandoned looking place. I guess we might as well go check them out. I sure hope I don't fall. Are you scared? Be honest. This is a village up here. That's really useful, actually. Are those cherry blossoms? Yo, this is already looking pretty sick. What is this building? It's got a bunch of lecterns. Colony building? I'm confused. It seems like something that I don't need right now. I guess we'll go ahead and head over to the village in front of us. Man, this village actually looks really nice. They have red beds. That's amazing. Fedora of health. Wait, hold on. Let me put that on real quick. Oh my gosh. I have a little fedora on top of my crown. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, an iron pickaxe. Wait, that is also really helpful. I'm switching my bed for a red bed. You can't go wrong with a red bed. You guys have roller skates too? Can I put those on? Oh, I actually hate that. How do I take off the roller skates? I don't want them. Oh, that's where the ring of strength went. Okay, wait, so why can't I put the other one on? Oh, there we go. Oh, and there's the roller skates. Yeah, honestly, I'm just gonna throw those out. I don't see a world where I'm going to want those. Oh, this is their library. Um, it's kind of weird that they don't have any books for some reason. 
It's really strange. Okay, now I've seen some crazy structures load in before, but who decided to build that big of a mushroom with a mob spawner on top? What's going on over there? There's also another tower for books. Flawless gem with a combatant? I keep finding all these gems. I don't know what to do with them. Another gem and a turtle. What? A turtle shell helmet thingy? Do you guys have an anvil somewhere in town? I'd imagine to be like in your blacksmith. Sir, your house is on top of his house. Should I be coming down here? Probably not. We have a stack of apples. That's kind of funny. What is this structure? This place is way bigger. Is this like their lookout? They should have been looking out for me because uh, I've kind of taken everything they own. This place is hollow. Hunter's belt? Yeah, sure. Thank you. What does that do? What did that just do? Did that just teleport? That made me teleport. Wait, what the heck? That was weird. Almost as weird as the missing iron golems. What happened to him? So strange. Mr. Hannah? What do you mean Mr. Hannah has awoken? Why are you a ghost? All right, well that serves as a good reminder that it's time to sleep. one heart it's that regeneration thing you want to kick in or i don't like being on one heart is that another village in front of us there's so much there's so many structures i don't even know what to focus on okay so i think that thing that just about killed us was the mr hannah or something whatever the frick boss popped up I still don't know what this thing is i killed it it didn't really drop much still in your books please don't mind all right i think we have quite a large amount of items i don't really want to live on top of a mountain because that's what i did in my better minecraft 100 days I'm thinking i just find a nice spot to settle down around here since it has so many structures and stuff i am seeing that there's a structure up here oh it's a nice little house oh what is in the said house hello oh What's up? Is this just like a bunch of NPCs? Uh, okay. You guys have fun in there. It was nice seeing ya. Just wanted to check in, see how things are going. How did I just run past this cave earlier? Did I not see the insane amount of stuff? You know what? I'm gonna continue not seeing it because I feel like that's a very quick way to die. I will come back for that cave. Okay, so we've made it back to the village with the weird mushroom tower thing. I think I do want to build my base probably in this foresty area next to this. I really like the idea of having a bunch of structures around my home. It does make everything feel a little more full and like connected. Ooh, there's also this nice lake area. Dude, this looks so pretty. This might have to be it right here. I'm calling it. I need to fix up this whole area, flatten it all out, and this will be prime real estate. First, you're just gonna chop down a tree, flatten out the terrain around, then you run over to the mushroom, you get a cool achievement and then use this that didn't do nearly as much damage as i thought it would now back to the directions next we craft a double chest and empty out the insane amount of jewels we have collected like seriously what is all of this stuff now we are back to 20 levels if i open up our skill tree we can buy some more points like just one for now guess we'll just keep going in this line and then eventually you can snake it over to minus 30 percent level requirement wow it is nighttime now i'm kind of surprised i wasn't attacked we should probably sleep i do want to fix this whole area up and i think the easiest way to do that will be a quick little montage
and there we go i think that definitely looks a little more clean definitely a lot more spacious now there's still a couple things i want to do but i think that's a good enough start for today because the sun is starting to set oh man dude i forgot how nice this world is it is now day 10 and i see some sugarcane which i will be grabbing wait what is that there's a pillager camp right next to where I decided to build my base. Awesome. Fantastic. You know, here in America, we don't take too kindly to strangers. <gasps> oh, never mind. Yeah, no, you guys are great. I love having you as neighbors. Please continue to live and flourish on my land. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Those guys hurt a little bit. Hey, what's up? Did you want to be friends? I'll take that as a no. Uh, buddy, you shoot me, I will shoot you. Boop. And goodbye how do you you still have hearts this will do it there we go what did you crack gem of the warlord all right we'll look at that in a second kind of busy with something Ooh, i don't like this guy oh, oh, oh. Uh, stop stop that that's not cool you know being a shulk and all is really nice i like having that extra storage but Having a shield could be a little useful. Is that everybody wiped out? I think so. Nope, there's still one more. Wait, my, no, my scythe just broke. That's not fair. Dude, I'll box you. Oh, dude. You know, they used to call me Mike Tyson. Fun fact. Don't know what this arcane presence is, but with how much I keep finding, maybe it's important. Looking at my mini-map, it doesn't seem like there's too many surprises left around here. So let's get back to making my property. Should I craft another scythe? Hmm. You know, there is other options. Let me see what we have. All right, I think I made up my mind. Let's go for the iron great axe. This thing <laughs> looks absolutely insane. It's so slow to attack with though, but it does so much damage. Wait, does this work as an actual axe? Surprisingly, no. Uh, I see some spruce all the way over there, and there's also those red trees, but those look like they just have regular oak. So I guess we're going to get some spruce. You know, it's kind of funny. Despite being in a modded world with access to dozens of different types of trees, I still decide to go for spruce. Seems like the sun is starting to try and go down, and I am not a fan of nighttime, so that only means one thing, and that is that it's time to go to sleep. Oh, hey, welcome back to day two of mining trees. Now, is that tower what I think it is? Because I'm seeing something very specific on top of it. <laughs> I think I need to check that out real quick. Definitely not for any specific reason. You know, just don't mind me. I'm doing my own thing. Parkour. Oh, perfect. So, uh, what seems to be the case with this weird tower? A breath of fresh air. This tower's stupid. <laughs> I can't get up. And we made it to the top where there is a way stone. You know what? I'll be the first to say it. Climbing this was not that easy. <laughs> All right, what's in here? Okay, not the most insane loot I've ever seen, but I am not too greedy, so I'll say thank you. Can I just use the quick way down? Thank you. Oh, okay, I was kind of nervous I wasn't going to hit water right there. That was... <laughs> that was pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie. Maple log. I feel like that would look nice. Might as well grab a little bit. Let's plop down that and we'll call this the home base. I can't remember, but I don't think we ever actually checked out what was in this tower. I already know one thing that's probably going to be in here, and it rhymes with DND. &D. I actually forgot about that as I was coming up here. I just about opened that chest. Thank you. Gosh, that I didn't do that. Because that would not have gone well for me. There's another turtle helmet. I don't really need that. Looks like there's also an upgraded iron chest plate, which gives us three max health. Wait, what? We have three extra hearts now. Okay, that's cool. I like that. We also have shield bash, which doesn't help us as we cannot carry shields. Before I forget, planting our sugar cane could be helpful. And would you look at that? The sun is setting yet again. I really want to get started on our base, but we still just don't have enough materials. So let's kill two birds with one stone and do some caving. And also craft some bread because I am starting to run out ever so slightly on food. Why is there an 
armored baby. No, thank you. You know, I didn't think that going in a ravine would be dangerous, but now I'm starting to see some slight issues we can have. The implications, if you will. Why is there a glowing ore? That looks really weird. All right, as long as nobody pops out, we are good? Okay. Now, why is there the boogeyman over there? Yeah, maybe caving's not such a good idea. <laughs> Can I shoot you and line it up? That I don't think I hit him. I just want to knock him down. Oh, and he's gone. Okay, that's just fantastic. We're probably fine to drop down here. <laughs> Go. If we keep an eye on our minimap, we will see if he pops up. I guess I also do have to keep in mind, we have a decent amount of hearts right now. Uh, I'm seeing on the minimap a thing called Wolf's Bang. I'm pretty sure that's what that guy was. Oh, that's an Enderman. I just looked at an Enderman. Get in the water. Yo, what's up, buddy? Oh my gosh, this new weapon's good, bro. I just four shot him. That doesn't seem that bad at all. Oh, it's the Goblin Trader guy. Hey, what's up? You're from my last video except you're the regular not nethery version eight apples for an emerald yo that's not a bad deal well my friend it was nice seeing you uh i got places to be well this little cave was fun i think i'm ready to head out of here there's still more loot i want to grab but we will grab it from a different cave what is with the amount of water down here yeah no, that's not ominous at all i'm sure there's nothing down there why is it an urn Oh, sweet. We just got six bones from it. Not exactly scared of a creeper. Okay, see, the creeper almost killed me. Maybe I should have been scared of it. Can't tell if they sound more like witches or goblins. Probably both. I know you're down here, goblins. I just don't know where. Did I pass him somehow? Oh, no, I didn't. There he is. I know there's more. I don't like it when you glow. Oh gosh, he's coming back. I just recovered, man. Leave me alone. <gasps> Stop! Why do you sound like creepers? I'm dead. I'm alive. Now I need to recover all my health again. I have an idea. Don't know if it's a good idea. <gasps> Maybe not. Maybe not. They're right there. Alright, if I drop the water bucket, grab that lava... Surely he's not lava proof, right? Right? Yo, come up here. I dare you. I triple dog dare you. Oh, okay. That's all it took. And we can take out his stupid cake. I guess we'll grab our water back. <gasps> There's still more! Bro. I thought we were done. Is there still more of them? Or is that guy just invincible? Gosh, there's still more cake. Are you gonna blow up too? And goodbye, sir. One more. Okay, let's access our other inventory and throw all this into it. Believe that was all of the goblin guys. I'm hoping so. Because I'm back to greedy looting. Now, I'm not even sure if diamonds are going to benefit me a whole lot in this mod pack. However, it would be nice to perhaps stumble across some. This cave is massive and I'm terrified. Oh, hey, I found a diamond. I'm going to assume that's just a one-off diamond. I don't think there's going to be anything next to it because we are still a tiny bit high up. Hey, why? Why? I was just about to say that guy looks funny and then there's this guy running around with a gun. Hey, gun buddy, where'd you go? You know, maybe he's friendly and just misunderstood. Are you friendly? Why? 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 No, thank you. What just happened? What even hit me, bruh? Who was that? This fella's gotta go. Oh, that guy was too strong for his own good. Trust me, he had to be put down. Oh, wait, that's another diamond right there. I completely overlooked that in my fear. Pretty sure the deeper underground we go, the harder mobs we encounter. Like a thick spider, for example. <laughs> Why is everything so deadly, dude? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. You're a thick spider. You shouldn't be that strong. Okay, we found a water cave. Uh, I'm gonna assume there's no enemies in here, which is actually helpful because we do have this turtle helmet, which allows me to breathe underwater. Okay, you know what? This I can handle. This is nice. Fish and we have arcane crystal ore. That sounds cool. Don't think I'm able to mine it, sadly. I heard a creeper, but where is he? Hey, man, did you fall while trying to 
get me? Oh, I see what happened. Stop, that's bad. How about we get back to what I was actually trying to do? Oh, I can mine this ore. Okay, maybe just because I was underwater, it was taking forever. All right, let's grab some tough blocks. Oh, wait, I don't even need a pickaxe for this. I keep forgetting. I can just break it with my hand. Same with deep slate. Jeez, why do I even need a pickaxe? Awesome, another guy that looks like he can one-shot me. Oh, boy. Oh, golly gee. I'm messing him up! Back up, back up, back up to the torch. You think you're strong, metal man? Ooh, that guy was a tank. I wonder what he would have actually done if he were to hit me. Well, that's enough wondering. Why don't we go ahead and just get out of here? Where did I end up? Oh, we're next to the mushroom. And that means my house is... <gasps> Yo, why is there so many mobs over there? Why does that guy look so tough? Oh, okay. Well, I see how this is going to end if I keep going over there. Nope. <laughs> no, nope, 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 nope. I'm going to say nope a couple more times. Nope, nope, nope. No, 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 no. That's not how we like to play this game. Oh, hey, my house. Could you feel the quotation marks I put around that? It's getting a bit late. Perhaps I should have hit the hay. Someone's got to do it. I'm sorry. That was very unfunny. I'll never do that again. Man, we really need to get a base started because this, this is just sad. I do kind of want to build like a medieval tower like that, but we still need to gather so much stone. So, so I guess we'll just mine down here. And I'm hoping that should be enough. Awesome, my shovel just broke right away. <laughs> Let's place down our furnaces in all of them and then our cobblestone i also want to throw deep slate in there but uh we really don't have that much we just kind of have that one stack so i'm going to do the risky thing and go back to the river we popped out of over here wait what is this place we have grass and a name tag um sure hope nobody's gonna come get me for stealing that Oh, here's the cave. I think I found it. Geronimo! I, why, I, sorry, wrong place. Let me get out of there. <laughs> I broke into the wrong cave. You look terrifying, my guy. Okay, I'm not even gonna attempt to fight him. Uh, he sounds like a gremlin. I don't like that, and I'm going to swim away. So as a shulk, I have the ability to break uh, stones, which we've established. But it's actually even better than that, because despite being underwater, I can still break it very fast. I didn't bring any torches, it's so dark. But I'm gonna grab some deep slate and we'll be back. <laughs> that made me jump. <laughs> that actually scared me so bad. Why was it so loud when I killed it? What is that? Is that a, a goblin witch? I'm gonna ask if you could maybe not... They just dropped a slime block. Okay, I need to sleep. Hey, there's a rainbow. I would say that's pretty if it wasn't for the strange mushroom boss tower. Also, if you're seeing these red lines, those are death waypoints, I think. I don't know. I have a couple worlds I'm playing with this mod pack. One to test out and see what I'm doing. The other one uh, recording, obviously. Okay, maybe I shouldn't run out here. I'm seeing some very weird creatures. But for some reason, these waypoints, I can't get rid of. No matter what world I'm on, they're just on there. So uh, pay no pay no attention to those. On a plus note, my sugar cane appears to be growing, which we can expand this way. Now, one thing I would really like to do is craft a backpack. Uh, we need string, leather, and a chest. That's not too bad. Do we have any leather? <sighs> a buddy okay he just he, he got scared in my presence so he decided to go away you know very smart he's an intelligent fella okay well that guy just disappeared in my eyes what the frick i guess he got lost upon my gaze we'll leave it at that piggy i need cows not you our food supply has been getting pretty low, so I guess now is as good a chance as any to catch up. And looking at my mini-map, there's no shortage of pigs around us. Are you waving at me? Did I ever check out what this weird structure was? I don't think I did. Oh, it's a Fletcher. Or no, it's a bandit. I've been lied to. 
that's not a bad bow, but I don't know if I want to trade 13 target blocks. Don't mind me, just got to ransack your place real quick. Not seeing much of uh, value, sir. What's up with that? Run if thy pockets. I have taken out the entire global pig population and still found no cows, so I guess we look for leather in the village. How long has this been here? Obtain a rotten spell book. Alright, hold on, I gotta test something out. What do I do with the spell book? There are three slots next to my hotbar, but I'm not sure what to do with that. You know, we'll worry about that later. You guys got any leather? Oh, wait, wait, I actually need that. My leggings broke earlier. That's a good set of pants right there. I'll take it. What is this? Wait, where did these come from? I never saw these chests earlier. Oh my gosh, my extra inventory's full too. Man, we need a backpack really bad. That is an upgraded axe if I've ever seen one. Thank you. Does nobody have leather? This is like actually insane. Another gem, no leather. Okay, this is this is a lost cause. You know what? I'm not gonna run through the woods at night. That doesn't seem like a very smart idea. Instead, I will break through your window and steal your bed. Disappointed that you guys don't have extra leather laying around, but I'm double checking because I'm persistent. Well, that trip was a waste of time. All right, let's put some barrels down and we'll throw all of these extra jewels and accessories and other crap that I'm getting in just one chest because it's getting to be a lot to take care of and I'd rather just have it all in one spot. There's not even enough space to store everything I'm finding in here. Oh my gosh, what is all of this stuff? All right, ignoring that, I do have a lot of pork that I can now eat. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot with the skill tree I have when I eat, sometimes I get extra damage. I want to test this out. How much damage do I do? Give me one free hit. How much health you got? You got... I don't even know. That's all you got for me, Mushroom? Come on. I've seen some scary guys down here. And our damage is now up. Wow, what a waste of time. You know what's not a waste of time though? Our skill tree. We have so many levels that we could probably get some cool stuff. Now, if I buy one skill point, how many levels is that? That's four levels. Okay, if I buy another one. Oh, that one is like seven levels. Okay, what the heck? Does it just slowly ramp up more and more? Let's focus on upgrading. We can get 2% damage for one minute and then recover one, wait, recover 0.1 life when you block damage. Okay, <laughs> you can't really block damage, but sure. 20% damage if you have at least 15 hunger points. Oh, I should have gone for that one. Okay, that's my next one I'm going for. Still never really checked out these books either. War Notebook. Getting started. Okay, that's so much reading that I don't think anybody wants to do. Wandering magician armor? That's cool. Still need it though. I'm sure all of this would be useful information, but I couldn't care less as of right now. Is there anything else important I should read? Oh my frick you, you suck. You suck so much, I hate you. Bro, I don't think I've ever jumped that bad. In Minecraft, you, every video, you just scare me so bad, Mr. Wandering Trader. What is all this? Sir, that sword does 18 attack damage. It's from the Twilight Forest. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Man, why you gotta do that to me? <laughs> Here we go. This is what I was looking for. So this is the quest tree, a huge part of this mod pack that I forgot about. Oh my gosh. The amount of achievements I'm getting right now. What am I supposed to do with all this information? Bro, my brother. The adventure begins. Wait, you're telling me I could have gotten a free armor set from the beginning? Wait, did I just get 20 golden apples? Okay, I'm getting too much stuff to even think about right now. We just got 20 golden apples. Excuse me. Why did nobody tell me about this beforehand? Okay, wait, so if we make the adventurer chest plate real quick, that'll give us something cool. You bet your keister I'm gonna do that. I've never said that sentence in my life. Okay, so we take a chest plate and we surround it with gold and we get the adventurer's chest plate. Does it look cool? Whoa! Wait, we actually look pretty sick. All right, we should sleep. It's nighttime. Back to the quest stuff, though. So we crafted that. Now we get a full set with it. Bro. A goal reached. We are now an adventurer. 
Okay, wait, let me put this set on. Dude, we actually look like an adventurer. This is so cool. I love this. This might be my favorite video I've made so far. We also have a wisdom scroll. Skill point gained. Is that for this? Oh, it is. Okay. So we just got a free one of those. Oh yeah, we have six more in here. Let's just claim those all up. So now we have seven skill points. Oh my gosh. So this whole time we could have just saved our XP. So if we kill five creepers, we get access to all of this and another wisdom scroll. And then if we kill skeletons and zombies, we get more levels, an iron long sword, a shield, which we cannot use, and another wisdom scroll as well. We have some quests ahead of us. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry please don't take it personally but you gotta go you're not welcome <gasps> oh you turned into an illusioner okay yeah that was that was just a mistake should not have tried to kill him i'm sorry that's on me my friend i will swim away now i can't see this is not a fair fight oh there we go that was such a weird fight i don't think i've ever actually seen or encountered the illusioner because he's not in regular minecraft but uh it's cool to see what we could have had okay so with seven skill points we can go to this one which will give us 20 percent more damage if we have like pretty much full hunger all right i'm going to buy all of these and i'm trying to get to this which gives us 30 percent less level requirement for enchanting that sounds pretty sick let's do it i don't know i was expecting like a, a sound to play or something but that's definitely not what happened <laughs> Now back to this. So we got wooden armor for doing something we did in the past. <laughs> An orb of origin. I'm going to imagine that makes it so we can change the class we chose, which we chose Shulk, and I'm probably going to keep that. We have 20 golden apples, which is honestly probably the coolest thing we got. All in all, I should have done that much sooner. Still no signs of cows, though, which is sad. All right, where is my barrels that I had? They're in my inventory. Okay. I'm going to place these down just so I can get some extra inventory space. Because now my priorities have been shifted just a tiny bit. Also, what does this do? Those level you up? Oh, that would have been useful. No, I would have used those way sooner. Wait, acquire an enchanting table gives you so much stuff. I could do that really quick. Well, we only have two diamonds, so I guess we gotta go caving either way. Nourishing. We just got an advancement for eating the bacon and eggs. Uh, that's nice. Did I lose my water bucket? Why does stuff always disappear? That's the craziest thing. All right, well, we lost our water bucket somehow, so I'll just craft a new one. Okay, I feel kitted up and prepared. I guess we'll just go to the quick way of getting down there, because that's the only way I know how. Oh, there's also that weird head crab looking thing. I need to defeat, I think it said 20 of these. Is there any more around here? Yeah, there's one. Um, oh, there, there's two right there. Can you jump over here? Are you up? Oh, nice, You're, you guys are smart. All right, Geronimo! We also have to kill creepers. Why is there a giant goblin wielding a freaking... Or I guess he's not giant. He's pretty small, actually. But he has a giant weapon. He's got so much health! Oh, I'm not a huge fan of him. All right, I'm going to need some coal for torches so I can see. I'll put them in my offhand since I can't carry a shield. I guess we just start caving. What could possibly go wrong from this? I hear skeletons. At least I... I think it's a skeleton. Oh, another creeper. Ah, he blew up. Dang it. I can hear things walking, which makes me believe that they are below me. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's there's a cave down here. It's probably a dumb idea to just drop down. I can hear that there is very much not a skeleton down here. I see purple particles. Not good. All right, there's a real chance we might die here. I'm eating a golden apple. Send it. Okay, so it is a skeleton, but it looks like a boss. He doesn't do that much damage, so I'm going in. He's at 300 health? Hold on a minute. 300 health? Even if he doesn't do that much damage, that's an insane amount of health. Okay, we killed a creeper. This guy has to be top priority. Mess him up! There's a creeper! No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. He's coming in with a sword now. Where's the creeper at? No! Nah, the creeper blew up. It's the one thing I'm trying to avoid. He just regents so much health. Our food buff is, like, actually destroying him, though. Wait, he might die. Yes! 
Oh, and then the goblin trader comes in. Obtain a piece of grave metal. What is grave metal? Hey, what's up, buddy? What you got? Hey, wait, those are actually not bad deals at all. That's good. That's a good deal. Hold on, you stay there, buddy. I am I will take you up on that. So if I give him one raw iron, he gives me two ingots. Bro, that's doubling my income. Buddy, you stay there. I gotta find iron. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh, why? I don't think skeletons are supposed to do that much damage. I just got like two shotted by a skeleton. Goblin trader, please stay there. I want to abuse your system so I get a bunch of free stuff. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Come here. Come here. We just got 18 iron like that. I love you. You are the best goblin trader I could ask for. Okay, so this cave didn't really go that far. And I believe if memory serves, it's all down here. Oh boy. This is where we fought the cake goblin thing. So as nice as it is to get all this stuff up here, um, I actually want to go further because that's where the better loot is. I'm not at all strong yet, but I feel like I'm slightly more prepared than I was last time. Ever so slightly. Oh, there's two creepers. Wait, that's actually perfect. Do one of you want to come down here? Thank you. No. Ah, I knew he was going to blow up. I couldn't run away. I like how creepers are usually something like you want to stay away from because they're scary. They can kill you, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, here I am. I just want to fight them so I can level up my skill tree. Oh, oh. Oh boy, <laughs> we fell really quick. I was not expecting that. Does this actually lead anywhere or is it just kind of an empty cavern? Okay, it might lead somewhere. Jeez, I thought we were already down pretty far before, but now we just like went down another 20 blocks or so. We just need to find one more diamond and then we can craft a diamond pick to get obsidian. It's kind of funny the fact that my fist is faster than using a pickaxe. Is my fist a diamond pick? Okay, well that sounded interesting. We're close to something. <gasps> what the flip and flip and flip? You look terrible. Why would I want to fight you? Who is that? Who is that? Um, so I'm just gonna start hitting you. I'm gonna shoot that demon. What is this? Oh, it's a spawner. Of course it is. What's it for? It's a skeleton spawner. So why is there a <gasps> ah! Stop! That's just uncalled for. Slay a vampire before it turns into a biter? That sounds slightly concerning, you know? <gasps> oh, creeper! Are, are they gone? Whoa, this place opens up a lot more than I thought it did. What is this? A spawner fragment? Spawner scrap? Okay, what do we have in here? We have some more gems. Oh boy. You know, I love gems. I have no idea what any of this is. A heavy chain also known as a necklace. Can I put that on? I can. Okay. Uh, not sure what that does, but cool. A golden apple. Thank you. That brings me back up to 20. As long as a vampire doesn't show its ugly teeth, I think we will be fine. This guy's gonna have to go. This guy's have so much health. I mean, how hard can it be to find one diamond? Oh my gosh, there's another spawner? <gasps> That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen! No, no thank you. That's like the cave centipede from my better Minecraft video. I will shoot it. I will shoot it. What is it? It looks so disgusting! Called a silver king? Is that like a silverfish, but disgustingly upgraded? Whose idea was it to make this? No, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. All right, I have to fight it as much as I don't want to. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. That's, oh, my freaking weapon broke. Uh. Please stop. Uh, uh, that was terrible. Oh, man. Oh, I got like the heebie jeeps. I don't like that. I need to craft a new weapon. Could go for the scythe again, which I think I'm going to. The scythe was cool last time, so I think it'll be cool this time. Although it does do a slight bit less damage, but I'm okay with that. Okay, is there anything in here? We're good. We're clear. <gasps> Wait, there's a backpack? Wait, that's so useful. Right click to add. Wait. I can literally just do this that all goes into the backpack. Our inventory is no longer full. Can I put it on too? Dude, what? That's so, I'm so, <gasps> ah! Bro, come on, man. I'm out here being excited and then a spider just spawns out of nowhere. All right. Whoa, this place looks crazy. There's a weird goblin guy over there. Okay, wow. So we got diamonds over there. 
Diamonds under the water over here. What looks to be faintly more diamonds over there. This is a solid cave. There's even more. Bonjour, mister. Let me just tower up to reach you. I'm seeing so many spooky mobs. I don't like this. Is that a mob spawner? I don't even want to know. Another spawner? Oh, why well, isn't that just fantastic? Okay, so this seems to be like a boss spawner. Or not a boss spawner, but something similar. Too bad I'm an absolute beast and these guys mean nothing. Oh, sweet. So that's a boss. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna shoot him. Oh, my arrows are gone. Dear backpack, please give me arrows. Thank you, backpack. All right, I need to shoot this fella. Boop. <gasps> yeah, I don't know if I want to fight him. I don't think I do. You know, I suddenly, I, I think he's okay. You know, he can be left alone. How much health did he have? I swear, this guy might be immortal. He might be immortal, and he's my strongest foe this whole video. Has he taken a tiny bit of damage at least? Wait, where'd he go? Ah! No, 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 no! <gasps> Why did you teleport on top of me? Are you blowing yourself up? Dude, what is this guy? Alright, we're gonna need to eat a golden apple here. Why does he keep throwing potions at me? Screw you! I'll mess you up, dog! Did he die? Ow. Okay, okay, I won't worry about it. I'll just grab this diamond and be on my way. Ice bucket challenge. Alright, I'm only gonna grab four because I could care less about grabbing enough for a portal too. Alright, now back through this really weird strip mine. Because I can only mine deep sight, so my only option was to keep zigzagging around this weird dark stone. Creepers, wait, I actually need to fight you guys. Yeah, come down here, I dare ya. I'll cut you up. I missed every shot, hold on. Wait, was that the 10th creeper? The path of the mage. Okay, well that was easy. Oh, I feel so good to see sunlight. That was a quite the expedition. I was down there for a solid hour, it feels like. You're telling me I can mine through stone instantly, but not cobblestone? Okay, this is kind of silly. Come on now. Oh, here we are. Sugarcane has grown a lot. Jeez. Well, the shadows on that looks really cool. Okay, so as far as our quest goes, we've completed this one, which gives us all of this. We can craft a spell bell book as well which is pretty simple to craft actually wait we could do that right now let's clear our inventory a little bit the next thing on the agenda was to craft an enchantment table which we might as well do right now there we go sweet we have an enchantment table now let's grab all of this out of the backpack man we have so much stuff right now <laughs> i just filled every chest completely okay so we need to craft an axe shovel pickaxe i think a sword it was and we throw all of those in with a book yes a novice spell book what can we do with this oh wait here we go so we have a bunch of different spells in here projectile okay we did something whoa what the heck <laughs> what does that do okay wait projectile harm okay so now we have this should i use it on something all right pig I'm testing something on you. Whoa, did a little magic ball. It does not do a lot of damage, but it does kill them over time. And I keep spamming torches everywhere. I guess that's useful. I can keep it on my offhand. We can go ahead and gather all of the sugar cane, which we are starting to get a lot of. Let's do some good old classic uh, fishing. <laughs> There's no point in doing that, but it looks so cool. Is there any like actual fish in here? Hey buddy, uh, just come over here for one second. I can't even one shot a fish. Come here, squid. He's dodging. And pow, pow. There we go. Oh, yep. Okay, we killed him. It just took a second. Right then. Now that we've been thoroughly distracted by all of that, if we open up our quest book, we have completed two more. So we have this one and this one. Oh boy, the advancements are going crazy now. We got wisdom scrolls which we will redeem. Gave us 30 books and a couple potions, along with five bookshelves. Okay, that's useful. Now, before we can place down our enchantment table, we should probably build a base. I put that off for like the last 10, 15 days. I think it's about time. Just gotta clear a little bit of space. 
Oh boy, this is a mess. Do a quick little nap, and so it begins. After two-ish hours of building, I'm finally putting down the enchantment table. That feels so nice. Now, I've intentionally made it really messy up here because I thought it might look a little cool. There we go. We now have level 30 enchanting, and I think it's cool up here, but it's missing a little magic touch. No, no pun intended. I forgot. We still do not have leather. Okay, the magic touch will have to wait. How high can sugarcane grow? Jeez, that looks crazy. Oh, also there's that. <laughs> so this tower took me quite a long time to build. Um, we have a lot of scaffolding going on just because I thought it would look kind of cool. Uh, don't look at the back, all right? You can call me Grian. Uh, still don't have a front door yet, or windows for that matter. But when walking in, there's some chest space and I'll have my furnaces over. Over there if you go up these stairs it leads you to this room with access to one balcony and another one and a viewing quarter for the windows and then if you follow these ladders on up they give you this floor which serves no purpose other than hey it could be cool to have a third floor and you can also see out that window right there and then as you saw up this ladder we have the enchantment table which is a nice little area for it and I'll probably put a chest right there so we can put lapis and any other enchanting stuff. Now, with all of this, I am tired and I want to go to sleep in real life. As much as I do want to save this for tomorrow, I have to finish my obligations. Probably the most important thing is adding a front door on here. And I'm also going to throw a pressure plate just so we can go in and out without having to close the door. Now, I have to move all of this stuff, which is what I'm not looking forward to. I'll have to worry about organizing later because uh, we have an insane amount of items right here. Literally throw it all in. I don't care. That looks pretty neat. Yes, we'll call it the capital. That looks so cool. I love that placement. All right, so we have all of our items moved in. Uh, a lot, a lot of stuff we're gonna have to sort out. Where did I put my bed? There's my bed. So I think we'll put our bed on this third floor that serves no purpose. There we go. We seem to have also lost our furnaces somewhere. I think now we do probably the most boring job and that is getting everything all organized. Oh boy. Oh, I'm invisible. Oh boy. This is gonna take a while. Excuse me, sir. You're being loud. Do you want to? What do you even have? Ah, uh, if I kill you, you turn into the illusioner. Ah. All right, here, we'll pick you up. <laughs> he looks so small, he's like an action figure. We're going on a little walk, my friend. I hope you like walkies, you're like my dog. Now, I'm thinking that you can just live like right here. You know, actually, a one, oh, okay. Here, you can just live there. Uh, not sure how you're gonna get out, but I'm just gonna get out through this. Yeah. Have fun, buddy. You know, some people will probably be like, wow, that's so immoral of you. Why would you do such an awful thing? Why not? That's that's the real question. Now, I will say, with all of that building and everything, my sugar cane is looking insane. I, I think uh, this adds in a mod that allows me to grow more sugar cane, because uh, usually it goes three high, but this one appears to be seven high. Not sure how that happened. Uh, okay, well, we just got over a stack, and that's pretty awesome. We'll just expand it even more. You know, why not have a sugarcane wall defending our base? I see no reason not to. Couldn't tell you when we're gonna use all this sugarcane, but I guess it's nice to have. Let's get you guys out of here. Yo, wait, they gave us leather. We can make another backpack with more leather. Do we have any more cows around us? Sadly, it does not look like it, but we do have more quests we must complete. One of them is to kill more of those Meecher guys. I'm not sure what you'd call them. Still haven't quite got that one out. Hey, look, it's the baker from when I was trying to build. You're annoying. Now, there is actually something I recently learned about this mod pack, which I will share in a second. Hey, buddy. 
So, I don't know if you can see it very well, but this guy is level 14. Now, you might be curious, what does it mean that he's level 14? Well, basically, that means that I have wandered pretty far from spawn. You see, in this mod pack, spawn is... Let's see, I spawn like right here. So around here, we're gonna have lower level enemies, you know. Right here, I think these guys are like level 3, you know, because they were pretty close to spawn. But we've traveled a little bit away, now we're clear over here. So we're encountering enemies that are level 10 to 15. I'm gonna expect the further we go out, like if we go clear out here into the void, those guys are gonna get harder and harder to beat. So we definitely want to gear up a little bit before traveling too far. Which brings me to my next thing. We need to complete a couple of quests, and this guy's in my way. Huh? 20% speed? Alright, let me test this out. Oh wait, it probably helps if I eat a little bit. Dude, what? I have a permanent speed boost now? Okay, yeah, we're using these boots for sure. Does it use, like, extra durability or hunger or anything? Let's go! Uh, you don't look friendly at all. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. We just got so much gear from that. All right, don't attack me. We got grave metal leggings and more boots. These ones give you better swim speed and they have an empty socket. I'm not sure what that means. You know, I never actually did check if this place has anything. I just know that it spawns some pretty crazy guys, which is cool. Ooh, that guy almost blew up. You know, if I had more blocks on me, I would say we should tower up. Uh, probably not the best idea, though. Bro, okay, these creepers are insane. I just dropped my weapon. All right, we need to go back to the base. I think it's time to sleep. Oh, it's another one of these guys. Dude, from a distance, that tower looking good. I love it. Up to my bedroom. And then we can look at the window as we go to sleep. Looking at my quest book, we actually have one that we never actually got. And that's the obsidian one. So let me go ahead and grab that. Wait, we also have this. There's a backpack. What do I do with that? We get a champion coin. A pristine coin minted for in the celebration of mom momentous... Mom I can't speak, bro. What do you think I am? Wait, there's a bunch of stuff on here. What is this? Visit the Twilight Forest. We get a choice reward, and there's so much stuff going on in there. We also get 15 levels. Okay, wait. We might need to go to the Twilight Forest. I'll organize eventually, but for right now, I don't care. Let me grab my backpack. Okay, so in order to make a Twilight Forest portal, I know we need a bunch of flowers. I'm hoping that just by running around, we can find a couple here and there. Wait, here we go. We have a dandelion and a rose. I think we need nine flowers in total. Oh, no, I think... I think we need 12 flowers in total. Oh my gosh, there's another one of these fellas. <laughs> Goodbye, person. Let's just hear a witch. Hey, wait, are these vanilla? Okay, wait, that's a vanilla flower. These ones are not. Carrots? I mean, I'll take some carrots, thank you. This doesn't look like a carrot. Why is there just a random well? Hey, another rose. Wait, that's not the right rose though. Never thought hunting flowers would be difficult, but here's another two. We need two more flowers, and it looks like they're gonna be right here. We'll grab an oxy daisy and another rose. Now, as far as I know, nothing bad actually ends up coming from the Twilight Forest portal. Plus, it's not like we're gonna be taking that on right now. I just kinda Want to drop in, get an advancement, and then I'll be out. So I think a good spot for it might honestly be right around here. We could clear out these trees and put, sir, you are outside of my house. I do not appreciate that. I think what I am going to do is kind of flatten this part out a little bit. So give me one second. And that's a lot better. Very nice. Very nice. I do kind of want to replace this. I forgot I can break stone. All right. Nice. I do kind of want to replace the stone. So I'll just do that really quickly quick we'll keep a little because it does look kind of nice but now it is a full day has passed so i guess i might as well sleep with that we can place the flowers oh i forgot the diamond hold on let me grab that and then we should be able to just throw a diamond what yo that's really cool can we not have a fire wow um it took out two flowers i kind of wanted those to be there i by chance replace them with some nearby flowers just for us reasons. Why are you everywhere? I wonder how many of those I have to kill for a quest. Jeez, hello. We have to be nearly there. In fact, I'm gonna check. Oh, wait, we have to actually visit the Twilight Forest. That's good to know. Okay, it doesn't tell me how many I've killed. It just says that I have to kill 20 of them. Wow, very descriptive game. All right, I don't see any flowers that close to us, so let's jump. Okay, we're not immediately getting beaten up, which I appreciate. 
Why is there so many mushrooms? Is now a good time to mention I've never actually played the Twilight Forest. So I have no idea how it's actually supposed to work. I know there's like levels and certain bosses you have to kill, but... That's about as extensive my knowledge is. We'll definitely come back here in the future, but for now, we're gonna stick into the overworld. Let's go! I was not here before. Where did it just bring me? I mean, I guess we can spend some time in the caverns. I don't see anything deadly that's gonna murder me. Oh, there's a tarantula that just spawned right here. There's two of them, actually. Even better. Oh, I don't have any arrows. I don't like tarantulas. Some more amber on the ceiling. Might as well grab it. What is with the amount of tarantulas? Dude, I suddenly am not that worried about it. They are coming up here. I'm going to head out through the entrance. Bro, where where did I end up? What? It spawned me so far away from my base. Dude, I thought it just spawned me like underneath in some random cave, but nah, it took me like 400 blocks away. I don't know why I never added a path before, but that looks... That looks nice. I like that. Good addition. Except for now, my shovel is destroyed. It's time to get serious, ladies and gentlemen. Warp scroll? Wait, what? That sounds useful. Let me keep that with me. I am so confused. I have searched every single chest. Where is my hat that I got with this armor set? Ooh, wisdom scroll. Wait, let's use that. Back to the skill tree. We have four skill points we can use. Wait, if we go up to this, we have a 10% damage if we have 75% health and 20% if we're under 50. That sounds pretty good. Or we could also go to this one, which I might actually do. We get minus 30% level requirement for enchanting. That sounds pretty awesome. You know what? Let's do it. Dude, I'm just gonna keep going for damage. If we max this out, we get 2% damage per hunger point, which means we could essentially have an extra 20% per hit. That'd be insane. Okay, let's empty my inventory. I keep forgetting that you can actually sort all of these chests with a click of a button. That is so useful. While it is boring, I think it'd be smart to stack our backpack full of stuff that is going to benefit us on adventures. That is bugging me so much that I misspelled capital. I need to just fix that. Ugh, oh, much better. And also this pork chop, no matter what I do, will not go into this other stack of pork chops. I don't understand why. But we have all of the gear I can think we possibly need. I guess we could do with a little bit of extra food and i also do really want to complete the quest for ki killing the meter things so i guess we'll knock out two birds with one stone and see what we can do what is this guy hey buddy do you want to possibly die oh <gasps> oh god he started running at me i'm jumping in the water yeah what are you gonna do can't do nothing in the water. Oh, that guy's a beast. He dropped grave metal boots. Still don't really need those, bucko. Bro, who are you? Why? Oh, what the frick? I'm gonna knock you out. Mama needs to teach some sense. Gosh, those goblin people are tanky. Oh, please don't be another one-shot skeleton. There's thunder going on, but I'll ignore that. Just wipe that fella out. Yeah, you see a potion particles coming out of a zombie looking like he's wearing netherite armor is not what I want to see. But he's coming for me. Let me just hide in the water. That seems to always work well for me. I'm not scared though. I can take you on. He's what he just gave me blindness. Dude, what you, that guy went sicko mode. Another grave metal scrap. I'm not sure what to do with that. Alright, I'm a glutton for punishment. Anybody else have anything they think they can do to me? That guy's a knight, but besides him, y'all look easy. What are you gonna do? You ain't got nothing. See, that guy just has a cape and a sword. Like, why would I be scared of him? Brother, you're not doing nothing to me. Messing him up. Ooh, another grave metal scrap. Okay, see, these guys seem to be getting a little more dangerous. Ooh. Another two scraps. This guy looks a lot scarier than he is. Dang, he broke my freaking scythe. I'll still take on a monster with an axe. I'm not afraid. What What the heck is on you? I'm not sure I want to fight this guy. He's got a vampire on him. Damn, no, suddenly I really don't want to fight him. Uh... What a change of heart. All right, that's that's enough for today. I oh, I can't even climb the ladder. Man, this is just not my day. I really can't climb this ladder. And I need some shut eye. Okay, wait, I couldn't find my helmet. It's in my shulker inventory this whole time. This whole time it's just been in there. Okay, well, 
There we go. Now we have a helmet. Well, I should probably bring a decent amount of food. See, I don't want to spend my diamonds, but at the same time, I might as well. I'm sure we'll get more in the future. We need a sword, a new axe, and a shovel. And then what we can do, since we have 61 levels, travel up to the enchanter and let's see can we get lucky but it actually tells me the enchants i'm going to get what the heck efficiency three devour these enchants all suck is there like a new enchant system that i don't know about do i need more bookshelves i'm gonna create more bookshelves there's no way those are just the only enchants i can get like that that doesn't make sense bro surely i should be able to get more we got seven more bookshelves maybe that will show a difference i wanted it to be looking nice but now i don't really care okay let's see is it any different nope it still says current value 15 percent. what the heck i don't want bane of arthur pods that sucks all right we'll just go for efficiency three efficiency three on breaking three these enchants are actually dog crap true edge what does that even mean oh, wait and it got sharpness three wait what the heck okay well i guess those are enchants you know what i'm gonna enchant my armor too mana region i don't really want that projectile protection that might actually be useful and it gave us mana boost four the frick is that okay what we just got protection three and fire protection that's an illegal piece of armor i'm going to become a fugitive protection three and wind step gain speed while sprinting that mixed with my boots is actually gonna be insane death strider and mana region again Okay, I mean, I'll take it. Can I re-enchant my tools? Cause I feel like, I feel like I should. I need to create a grindstone. There we go. Grab that grindstone and throw it up here. And we'll put it right there. I mainly want a better pickaxe. That's where my priorities are. We got unbreaking and efficiency. Okay, that's better. All right, whatever. We'll call it there for now. I really want to go on this adventure and it's nighttime, so I guess we might as well sleep too. All right, now it's time to get serious. We have some extra power behind us, backing us up. I'm going to quickly head over to the village and we'll go in here. Thank you for the bed, good sirs. All right, and so our quest begins. We need to upgrade our gear and become truly powerful in this mod pack. I'm seeing a lot of things and I don't know what they are. What is that? Okay, that guy's insanely powerful. Why do I have slowness? Go faster. Oh, now I got these head things too. There's another one. This isn't giving me very much confidence for the future. I think we should still be able to take this guy out. Okay, he was easy. He gave us more grave metal. Still don't know what that does, but oh well. You know, I just realized instead of crafting a diamond sword i could have done like a diamond scythe enchanted that that would have been insane because we also got extra reach with that oh well hopefully we find more diamonds on this adventure and it will all be worth it hello what is this structure we got glass bottles is this like a trap or something all right not my business goodbye sheep and we found a weird stone structure. This could be a deadly trap, but I'm walking in without a single care in the world. All right, it does not look like there's actually anything up here. What is the purpose of this tower? Wait, it goes down. It gets really dark. Okay, what are we getting ourselves into? Oh, yeah, that looks like a fun person all right we have speed i'm just gonna go 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 i feel like these guys are really tanky don't really want to mess with them this is a boss room i'm not sure what's going on there we're gonna wait to loot these chests they could be trapped okay i think that's the last spawner in this area uh, let's just make sure these chests aren't trapped oh my gosh that is a loud advancement oh wait what we got a trophy i didn't even notice that <laughs> it's steven a chest that's the coolest thing i've ever seen what the heck all right now what's in these chests another turtle shell helmet don't really need it i didn't even check to see if these were rigged maybe i should back up okay we're good we have another trident with two empty sockets i believe that's actually what the gems fit into so that might actually be worth taking and there's this chest with a diamond in it yo already making profits you know there is so many stone bricks in these chests i might as well grab them just so we can build in the future Ooh, gloves Wait, I might actually put those on. Fine, I'll take all the stone bricks. A blank ruin? Okay, that's also a unique item. I feel so speedy right now. <laughs> Another rune, some food. Yeah, might as well grab some food out of a musty old chest. What's the worst that could happen? 
All right, was there any more chests down here? This is a really odd room. Does it go down anywhere? No, I don't think so. All right, on to a different room or tunnel. I don't, I'm not sure what you would actually call this. Okay, right away, I'm seeing some, uh, some spawners and a, a friendly face. And he does it a ridiculous amount of damage. Good to know. Oh, they just spawned a boss? He's got 500 health. Okay, I'm cheesing this fight. I don't care what anybody says. Come on, one more. Dude, that took like a minute straight of just smacking. All right, take this out. Oh, it spawned an armored skeleton. Nah, he's gonna like be able to one-shot me or something ridiculous. Look at him. Homie has a full-on shield. Bro, he's Fortnite building. He's cranking 90s. Ah, I'll give myself a little peephole. Yeah, it can't hit me through there. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I only fight fair battles. Okay, there is one more spawner. Let's take that out. Oh, well, now what did this boss guy even drop? He dropped a bow with power one that has zero durability. Don't know how helpful that's going to be to me. Who's a lover? Oh, it turns on the lights. How, how fancy and high tech. Okay, I already know there's going to be more spawners down. Yeah, maybe I don't want to go that way, actually. You know, that way doesn't look that nice. Please don't turn the corner. He turned the corner. To be fair, I don't think this guy is going to be that powerful compared to the boss. Okay, he's getting close. I was going to say, is this the one guy that doesn't melee me? All right, we really need to get rid of these spawners. I guess first we can go through and light everything up. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Just spam torches. <gasps> they spawn creepers! Jeepers creepers, yoinks. Or, no, they say zoinks. I was close enough. What are you? What the f- Ah! 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 Oh my god, he just exploded. Yeah, no, there's no way I'm taking that guy on. There's, there's like actually literally no way. Bro, he's got 500 health and can explode into a firebomb. Yeah, I don't think I'm fighting this guy. Okay, well, I got him boxed like a fish. That might help me. Oh, hey, goblin trader. I don't think right now is the best time. I'm just gonna mine through the wall and ignore that guy. I heard him explode. He's in the wall. Wait, now's my chance. Okay, I'm gonna have to eat a golden apple. Just exploded again. Can I stop spamming torches? Okay, let's get those out of my hot bar. Where'd he go? He's in the wall, but where? Did he go up more? Where the heck did he go? Oh, shh. Snapping, snapping doodles. You know, he's getting a little too close for comfort and he's gone. Where is he? Where did the purple sparkles sparkly guy go where'd he go he died homie just died and i have no idea where he is that's so dumb he just died in the wall i don't even get his gear all right well i guess we continue moving on okay this place is actually such a huge building that's like a boss creeper don't know if i trust that it goes down all right yeah we're not going down i'm telling you that right now whoa a rogue eye that's cool. No idea what that is. Bamboo spikes of poison. That's pretty cool. Whoa, we found a diamond and a sword. Oh, wait, my boots broke. When did they break? Oh, well, we'll just put those ones on. Oh, frick you. Frick you. Why did you just spawn on me? Wandering winemaker. I hate you. Genuinely, I'm just out here minding my own business, and then you come by. Oh. I don't need wine. I'm a miner. I can't even drink. Maybe hey, find a golden apple. Some more scrolls of regeneration. Some crazy looking armor. Oh my gosh, they're fighting each other. Thank God. They look scary, bro. Whew. All right, let's take out that spawner. We don't want any more of them showing up. Yo, we got a crazy shield. Too bad I can't use those. An ancient dart. What the frick does that even do? All right, I'll check out the basement. Although I really don't want to. All right, we're speed running this one. We got another blank rune stone. Don't know what to do with that. Can't help but feel intimidated. Let's just take that out before anything spawns. And sure enough, things have spawned. You ever see Toy Story? Gone like the wind bullseye? Yeah, that's me right now. Goodbye. Take that spawner out. And one of them spawned. Can't tell if the loot's getting better or worse. That is a good sign. And we spawned another guy in. Shoot each other. Shoot each other. Please, this would really help me. Oh, snap. So, uh, is there a TNT under this? Why is this here? Really odd. Redstone Riot Helmet. That is the craziest looking and sounding thing I think I've found so far in here. I'm putting that on. Dude, that thing looks so much more cooler than my other thing. Poison Spray. Yeah, no, I'm taking that. <gasps> oh my god, we found another backpack. Wait, that is actually huge. I'm throwing everything into this backpack. Our inventory was stuffed. Yes, okay, now we can actually loot some bombs. That's always a good find. Okay, eating a golden apple. Let's take that out. Nothing spawned. Perfect. Dragon's Bane leggings? That looks so cool. 
Wait, those leggings actually give me like a decent armor bonus. Yo, I'm keeping those. But the other ones give me speed, so I might actually keep those. I like speed. Speed's good for right now. An ancient tomb. Okay, I know there's a one more staircase. I don't know how far down we're gonna go, but this is my stopping point, all right? No more after this. We just gotta take out the spawner. <gasps> that is not a spawner! What the f Flubber nugget? Excuse me? What are you, sir? Why are you animated? Bro has 200 health. Brandon the mean. Imagine, imagine, you get the nickname saying the mean. You just must be hated by everyone, bro. All right, I'm gonna throw a bomb at him. Oh, wait, I'm almost dead. This guy must be mean. I, he almost killed me. I'm messing him up. He's about to die. I feel it. And one more. Ugh, okay, we wiped him out. That was a really tough fight. Good job, guys. He wasn't so strong. What a funny advancement. Oh, wait, these boots are insane, actually. My first bit of diamond armor, too, technically. The helmet is mid. But the boots are actually cool. I'm going to save those. Oh my god. It goes down another floor. I can't. I can't. I got to be careful. These guys are actually starting to do damage now. Okay, I just had a thought. We have a trident in one of these backpacks. I'm going to take that trident. And I'm going to use that trident as a weapon. Don't know why I didn't do that before. Why you got butterfly wings, bro? Oh, they're going to fight each other. Here, you go that way. Let me take out the spawner. Here, allow me to grab the chest. Don't worry. I know you guys are busy in your battle they are really going at it i'm kind of glad i didn't fight those guys i'm just gonna steal that off so they don't come over here and uh we'll continue looking at the loot all right i have an idea here let's grab he's the last guy left wait what you want some poison spray that felt pretty strong Ooh. Okay, I hear a lot of Endermen. I'm gonna choose to ignore that. Wait, there's spawners back here. That's where those guys came from. Oh, the chests are loaded. There's so many spawners. Woo! Oh my gosh, look at the amount of text coming off of this. Okay, I kind of want that. Uh, you are a boss with a thousand HP. I mean, they seem neutral, so maybe they're not going to kill me for standing here. All right, well, uh, I'm going to run past you guys. It's been fun. Oh, there's so many chests. No, I can't call it here. We got to keep going. Okay, what did I miss? Uh, blue bomb. All right, I guess now we have different colored bombs. That's uh, cool. I should probably take out these spawners. Okay, yeah, okay. That's exactly why. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna run away and cower in fear. What just happened? Applies regeneration around you at least most of the time. Yo, I don't think that gave me a regeneration. Try again. Hey, there we go. You see, those things are actually not quite as good as I thought. You can't get me because this is only two blocks tall. Aha, you've been outsmarted. Bested by a fool. Okay, if I spam torches, I think that's actually the strat because spawners can't spawn with light. And we got a diamond. Okay, now we can soak up all of the good loot. Why is other side playing? Should I be concerned? And where is it at? Okay, that's actually so loud. Uh, let me take out this weird Among Us statue before it spawns more crap. Oh my god, this one's loaded. Excuse me, gentlemen and purple glowing gentlemen. This is why I came back. This chest is completely unlooted with some crazy stuff, actually. I had to turn off the music because it's so loud, but just know that there's a lot of music. It is an all-out brawl down here. Bro has 732 health. He has like a thorns attack, too. What am I meant to do here? And he's invincible against arrows, because why wouldn't he be? Okay, I'm gonna trap him right there and then come down here okay what we just found the most loaded chest i got three golden apples out of this one little chest wait there's even more what the heck it's so difficult to decide what to let go of okay we have been in here for like the last five or six days Honestly, it's starting to feel like it's never ending and uh, I'm kind of ready for it to end so I think we will finally make our way out of here. Just that last one before I leave, you know? Cause you know, like eventually I'm going to run out of space. That's just no fun, really. Ugh, oh, I've never been so happy to see daylight. Oh my god, you suck. I hate you. Oh, it's another one of the head things. Eventually we gotta hit that Slayer quest. I don't know how we haven't yet. What the flip is that? Dude, I don't have any inventory space. Why you gotta show me a cool structure? No, there's another cool structure. Okay, come on, guys. 
What is this? A pillager fort? Should I not be here? I'm not seeing anything all that crazy. All right. They obviously want me to go in the normal way, but I'm anything but normal, so I'll just tower up. Hello? Does somebody need to clear their throat? Hello? There's a ladder up there. Healing circle? Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Let me just eat my last bit of food. That man has a hat. But he just shot me the firework! No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, I'm leaving. Uh, it's a fun tower. Nice tower, everyone. Uh, keep going strong. You're very awesome and cool and everything and goodbye. No, I can't admit defeat that easy. Come on, at least let me beat this tower before midnight. Where's this guy? He's a boss. He's a boss. Oh, there he is. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, you don't actually have that much health compared to the other bosses. What did you just drop? That's an insane sword, and you dropped a spirit too. Oh, why is he? He's got explosives. Oh yeah, let's just burn all the cool stuff he drops, why don't we? He's still alive. Oh. Yeah, that guy was kind of spooky. He dropped netherite scrap. I don't have inventory space. All right, well, it's time to start going through my backpack, I guess. We'll just throw away anything that doesn't sound that cool. Okay, that clears up a tiny bit of space. We have a tiny bit of more inventory space. Let's see. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot about the sword already. 10.5 attack damage. The Mage Hunter. Dude, that looks genuinely so cool. Oops, I dropped it. A priceless artifact, and I already dropped it on the floor. All right, well, I'm sorry about your uh, your floor. I hope you guys didn't like it too much. I mean, it was kind of outdated, if you ask me. Also, just now noticing you guys are low-key kind of stacked. Um, all right, where's this other fella? You shot me with a firework. I don't take kindly to that. Ow. Okay, is this guy like some sort of mini boss? I feel like I need some epic music Did you mess him up oh my gosh what what is this like shield he keeps spawning in arcane essence still don't know what that wait we have an extra inventory i forgot about the extra inventory how come nobody reminded me lob creeper i'm so confused as to what that does inscription table i kind of want an inscription table thank you it's so grand now real quick i'm just going to hey there's a portal I'm just gonna climb up here, just to make sure I didn't miss any grubby loot. <gasps> Ooh, we just fell right off the side of it, that's fine. Alright, grab the bed. Not sure I really want to mess with any of these guys, don't know how strong they are. I'm seeing a bunch of towers, I'm very curious what these are. Are you friendly? He seems friendly. Thanks for the cake, buddy. Can you stop looking at me through the window? Okay, this is looking very magical. Uh, what's in the tower? It was a bee. Why is there a staircase inside of here? Oh, that's a spawner. Suddenly, I don't really care what's in the tower. <gasps> okay, okay. See, those vines are like intentionally placed there so you run into them and you can't get away. Okay, I think I locked him upstairs, so let's just ransack the chest. All right, I'm looking at these vines. It actually looks like I might be able to just climb up through the side. Hey, look, we totally, fairly, legitly made it to the top. Wait, is that a diamond block? Okay, that immediately makes it worth it coming up here. Oh, I didn't want him to come up here. Oh, he's stuck in a spider web. Easy, easy peasy. Goodbye. Okay, is that everybody? Nope. There's still more. Sir, I need you to die, preferably. Are we good? Is that the whole tower? I think we're good. All right, let's start looting. Dragon's Bane helmets. Wait, does that match the leggings I got earlier? That would be pretty awesome. Okay, for real this time. Let's go home because I genuinely have no space. Not my extra inventory, not my backpack or my other backpack or my main inventory. Everything is completely full. I, I genuinely can't carry anything. On top of that, I'm down to just bread for food. Um, that's not ideal. I would prefer to have a little more than just bread. I recognize that giant mushroom structure. Oh, it feels so good to be back in an area I actually remember a little bit. Still hate you, sir, and I never want to talk to you. Hello, hello, sweet capital. I'm so glad to be back. Ooh, all right. Let's spend a couple minutes getting organized. By organized, I mean just kind of throw out everything all really nilly and hope that it works out.
Why is my shaders off? Oh, this is what I've been living in. Nah, we need to fix this. Oh, okay, that is so much better. That's what it's supposed to look like. The sugarcane farm is looking kind of like a wall at this point. So I did spend quite a long time fully well not fully but I, I did a little bit of organization some chests are a little messed up still but my backpacks are empty which means we are once again good to go ahead and do some stuff now I was doing a little bit of research into all these bits and bobs that I've collected some of them like this solar gem are legendary which means they are really really good now in order to actually use them i believe you just have to go ahead and make a smithing table which we can go ahead and just throw in the corner right here and put a trap door over it because why not and then we need either a bit of armor or a tool that says empty socket and i do know that we have a lot of different things in here oh here we go so you see right there it says empty socket that is exactly what we're looking for. I see these diamond boots have that, so we'll grab that. This trident actually has two of them, so this could easily become my strongest weapon by far. And so do these leggings. They look pretty good too. Okay, so we have these three pieces right here. So we need two of them that are weapon related. That looks like a good one. This looks like a pretty decent one for my boots. And then we open this up. Let's throw a trident in first. There we go. Oh, just like that we can add a jewel of the safari which makes it so when we hit somebody they get a seven timer thingy that's bad for them that's all i know let's do it so that's one on there you can see it at the bottom that it has the two percent crit chance and then we can add this which does armor piercing yeah look at us go there's still more to do though we have these boots for example they only have one empty socket however i can add a plus 55 percent speed check this out so you see this is my normal running pace you know not that bad but i put these on we're fast as frick you thought my boots- oops, I just ah, uh, uh, didn't mean to enter, my fault, have fun everybody, I'll be back later. Ah, and we're back in the cave. Okay, give me one second. Man, I forgot how far away it spawns you, good thing I'm fast as frick. Now the only bad thing I can think of with the speed is that it absolutely drains my hunger beyond belief. But, compared to my boots from earlier, I'd say I'm twice the speed I was, so yeah, it's pretty cool. But I'm a fan of these jewels. And we can also throw some on these leggings, by some I mean one of them. This gives us 4 plus max health, that sounds pretty good to me. And just like that, we've taken a little bit of an upgrade. Now here's some things I want to start doing differently. See, we have a bow, which is cool, but I want to try and get loyalty on my trident, so then it just returns to me every time I throw it. That would be so extremely useful, it's insane. Now, I don't know if you can actually get that from the enchantment table, so I guess we'll have to go through a couple tries and see. We do have another trident as well. Maybe I try to combine them together? Let me go ahead and make an anvil real quick. All right, let's see. So if I throw this in here... I get the sharpness. It gives me piercing and devour. Dang, this does 15 attack damage. Ooh. Now, is loyalty an option on here? This might be such a dumb idea. Let's just see. Spear fishing. It's not quite what I need. I'm gonna disenchant this one. We'll have like two more goes at it. That one just gave us unbreaking. This isn't looking too good, Chief. Okay, I'm gonna stop while I am ahead, otherwise I'll lose all of my XP. I have a better idea, but it will probably come after we sleep. Using this lectern, we can travel to the village that's just over here. I'm really, really hoping that there's not too many custom enchants. Yeah, on second thought, that's their problem. They can have fun at that. Nope, that's not what a hero would do. I'm coming to save you guys. <gasps> Goodbye, sir. Woo, you scared me for a second. I need... A villager without a job, please. You know, for all I know, they could all just be dead. And this is a wasteful attempt. Wait, this guy's unemployed. Oh my gosh. Jerry Smith, you're perfect. Come here. Don't run away. We can't have you getting away, Jerry. You're too precious. Oh, he almost got away. All right, here. Okay. Yeah, that, I deserve that. Wait, Jerry, come back. Jerry, no. Don't become a fisherman. Oh, you became a fisherman. That's just one thing I said not to. Jerry. Sir, I really need you to pick a home and stand in there. Actually, you don't even need to be in a home. I'll just place the turn, right? Yeah, there you go. Night scroll. Used to forge scuff scuff back to its original form. What are you trying to sell me here? 
Infinity. Okay, I feel like this is gonna take a minute. I really wish you were like in a house where I could trap you. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys in a long second. Oh, I thought he sold it, but nope, it's it's not this enchant. I just realized even when I do get the enchant, I don't have books. All right, Jerry, you stay there. Um, please don't die somehow. I need to find books. Yes, perfect. Thank you. There's two more lecterns right here. I'm actually going to rob you guys of those. All right, we're gonna lock Jerry up. Oh, here it is. All right, Jerry, I'm back. You have no chance at freedom. You're stuck with me forever. Let's get to trading. Jerry, if you give it to me, I'll let you see your family, okay? Please. Life mending consumes received healing to repair items. That sounds so cool. Too bad I don't need it. I want specifically loyalty. I know you sell it. I get it every video and I don't want it. And this is the one time I want it. Please. I swear if you give me mending before, I will lose my mind. I would have taken this trade any other day, but I, I need loyalty. Please. Jerry, please. Jerry, you're taking too long. I gotta go to sleep. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my, finally. Ah, oh, just give me the book. I want to kill you so bad. I hate you though, Jerry. I hate you. You're gonna sit in this hole until the end of time. Oh my gosh. That took me like almost 15, 20 ish minutes. I don't even know. I'm just, I'm, I'm so bored. That was not worth it. Okay, well, now that we've done that task, I guess we add that to our trident. Speaking of that, we can actually combine these two tridents, I'm pretty sure. So let's give this one a good enchant too. And he gave us looting and impaling. Okay, that'll work. I'm noticing a distinct issue. Enchantment cost is 42. You might be thinking, oh, just switch it. So if we switch it, it costs 16 but then we lose all of the things we just got. Uh, what if I just wanna add loyalty? Three levels, okay. You know what, we'll do that for now. We'll, we'll save the, the massive upgrade for sometime in the future. Okay, let's test this out. Let's try that guy right there. I missed. Let's try that guy right there. Hey, there we go. What if I throw it into the portal? It comes back, let's go. Can I one shot a squid now? All right, that's enough goofing around. Although, I just realized it doesn't have unbreaking. Ah, uh, do we have an unbreaking book by chance? Wait, are you kidding me? We had a loyalty book this whole time that we could have just added? Okay, now this is just dumb. Well, the night time is coming soon, but there's still a couple things I want to do real quick. One of them actually requires grabbing a little bit more spruce. So we might as well knock that out really quickly. Oh, I fell down the stairs. I love the speed. I feel so speedy. This forest is going to be looking pretty empty in about one second. Yeah, um, I went a little ham. I kind of got rid of a lot of trees. Only a couple, though. Like, I wouldn't worry too much about it. <laughs> Basic King 2024, single-handedly causing climate change. You know, we could do something to fix that. I'm going to plant some, some big trees. Maybe a couple little trees sprinkled in. Okay, that's plenty of tree planting. Let's get back home before the baddies come. Hello, house. Hello, spouse. Also known as my bed. Is that a butterfly stuck inside of my trophy? Yeah, sure looks like it. Now, I do want to keep the same theme. So obviously I went heavy with the spruce on the tower, but I also used a lot of different stone, which uh, dot, dot, dot. Can you guess what I'm about to do? Oh, hold on. We got to take out this guy. Oh, and that guy. He looks scary so he must go hey what's up you want to just stand there thank you one more second thank you thank you oh we completed a fishing quest we get a champion coin and five levels looks like we actually completed a couple more the twilight forest forgot about that one we get to pick a reward Ooh, i might have to go for the dragon's bane chest plate just because we already have the leggings and helmet let's see if there's any cooler options dude the fact that this is all just from minecraft story mode is pretty cool for some reason i didn't connect that earlier and we get 15 levels Dude, I'll take it. Champions Trials. Looks like we completed this. Slay 10 Petriman things. Another 15 levels. And a Wisdom Scroll. Now, how have I not killed 20 of these guys yet? That's my question. I almost want to just get it done, like, right now. So, I guess we'll just start taking them out. Geronimo! Did he die? Oh, he's still alive. And now he's not. Man, why are they getting potion effects? They're like getting stronger. There's like four of them. Oh, 
Wait, the reason we never got that one is because we still haven't completed this one. We need to kill two more zombies. Are you serious? I have literally the whole video been referencing that one quest only to find out I need to kill two more zombies and I get it. Okay, fine. Let's just go to the mushroom and see if a zombie will spawn. If not, I guess we'll have to skip sleeping tonight and focus mainly on just killing zombies. You are not a zombie, sir. I see a zombie, please be a regular one, he is. Now I'm worrying that he is the only actual zombie I'm going to see. That's a boss. Nah, we don't mess with them. We don't mess with them because we know it's gonna result in the death. I see a zombie by the village. I see the icon. Please, please, please. Got him. Now it feels like an appropriate time to sleep. Okay, now, so if we go back to here, we've completed this one, which means we get five levels, an iron longsword shield that we can't use with some scroll. Ah, so all of these guys I killed before didn't count. So now we have to go kill another 20. Screw whatever I was doing before. This is our new quest. I don't remember there being this many. It actually feels like these guys are everywhere. I'm confused. Whoa, where did you come from? Wait, how's my trident fold their ability again? Heal your weapon upon slaying an enemy? So in other words, I have mending. Okay, that's amazing to know. Why is that creeper looking at me funny? <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Just kidding, don't actually care. Ah, no, 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 it's coming. Woo, he's right there. Oh, that is a strong little guy. You would not expect it just from looking at him. There's Four of these guys over here. Yeah, okay, they're definitely becoming more and more common. I can't overlook that anymore. Don't mind me just going on a little bit of a pig hunt. You know, it's pretty normal and casual. Oh, that was the final one. Thank God. What do I get for this? A wisdom scroll, seven more levels, and another ring of strength. Ooh, the next one. If I kill 15 pillagers and get hero of the village, I'll get five levels and this crazy looking sword. Okay, all I know is that it is time to go back to my base really quickly. Open the door, throw some food in here, grab glass that you forgot that you left in here. There we go. All in a day's work. We're level 83. Now, where are these wisdom scrolls? Okay, let's get these wisdom scrolls. Now we're back in the skill tree. Okay, let's continue up this path. And eventually we will get this, which means if we have a good amount of health, we have a good amount of damage boost. And eventually we might even be able to get up to this, which makes it so we're pretty tanky if we're living. I forgot about this, the iron longsword. Looks kind of boring. Does it do a lot of damage? It doesn't even do that much damage. Boo, get out of here. What do we look like with this? Yo, that actually does look really cool. Now, as much as I like this armor, my other armor is just better in every way besides looks. So, until we get all of this, I think I'll just focus on my main set for now, which is a combination of like three different sets. We also have a second champion coin. Still don't quite know what that does, but we have it. Let's see, I need my food, please. And now is the really fun part where I just kind of mine indefinitely. Okay, that should be all the cobble. Ew, 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 ew. That should be all the cobble we need. Uh, I'm saying that knowing darn well that that is not going to be all that we need. Oh, we got a jade jewel thing from mining. This guy up here, by the way, has been yapping the entire time. I'm like, actually about to lose my sanity. We need to collect some tough and deep slight, which shouldn't be too bad, but at the same time, I don't really want to do it, which is exactly the reason it must be done. Luckily, I did already have this deep slate hole from earlier, and I guess there's also these weird XP orb things, but I better get to mining. Okay, I'm hoping that that is enough deep slate to satisfy my building needs. There's two more blocks I want to collect, but they're kind of hard to collect, and one of them is this andesite. There's no good way to do it, especially from over here. Okay, wait, I think I found the andesite jackpot right here. Now there's just one more to collect. Hopefully there's no weirdos down here because we need some tough which i think we'll find a decent bit right here i'm gonna seal myself in because i don't trust these caves at all and then we begin collecting okay that should be everything all collected so with all these building materials i'm envisioning building my own sort of kingdom you could call it 
I want to get rid of this little pond, or maybe this one, maybe this hill. Just I want to flatten everything all out, which is going to take a lot of time. And unfortunately, or fortunate to some of you, that means the next several days are probably just going to be me working, doing nothing. I don't know why I'm throwing it back. Uh, <laughs> okay, chill, chill, chill. But I'm just going to go ahead and give you the highlights because we're about to fly through a lot of days really quickly. So let's go. What the frick is all of this? Whoa, what the heck? Wait, so we could just place little structures like that? That's kind of cool. Hold on a second, I need to sleep. So what am I supposed to do? I assume it's in this book. Okay, no, that's just a decoration. Town hall, build tool. Okay, now we're talking. Oh, these are like chests too. They're, they're right. Wait, does it display items? Oh, it does! That's so cool, actually. I think these barrels are just purely cosmetic. You can't do anything with them. Anything in here? Stone tools? Oh, wait, there's actually materials in here. Dude, I should have used this ages ago. We have like four of these, too. And that matches my building style pretty, pretty closely. I like that a lot, actually. Oh, that is not what I was expecting. That looks a lot more like a tower. I mean, I think we have enough stone to do this design. I obviously don't want to do it right there though. I'd want to move it. If we could do one of those towers in this corner, like right here. Hold on, let's clear some area. Okay, well I gave her like all of my stuff. Um, hold on, that's for my backpack. I'm so confused. You, you say so. You have all my blocks, don't you? Yeah. So are you gonna go build or Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to go do some research. One minute. Hello and welcome to a brand new Mine Colony series. Ladies and gentlemen, I have it. Need something? Yes, I do need something. I need all of my stuff back. So if we run over to this. I don't need you. I don't care. Leave. I'm so sick of these guys coming here. Drown. I don't care. Oh, sweet. Come on, man. I'm just minding my own business. Okay, now you've done it. You messed up my building. Ah, oh, I can't kill him either because then it'll freaking ruin everything. Ow. Got him. Wait, voluntary exile? Does that count as me actually killing him? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. We're still good. I killed him without actually directly killing him, so we are not in trouble. It might have taken three or four days to build, but now we have this giant medieval looking structure. And before you say it, yes, I did use modded blocks, okay? These supports are modded. Ha, got you beat there. The interior is pretty simple. Uh, we have a little loft, and I think I might just convert this into a storage place, or maybe I'll place some beds for villagers. I don't know, but it's a nice little building. I want to build another one right around here, and then maybe one more before I seal it off with a fence. Wow. 
Wow, this whole area looks so nice now. This actually looks insane. All I did is add some extra foliage. I guess the last thing to do to tie this whole area together is to go through and properly make sure all the torches are laid down. Jeez, this sugar cane's getting pretty out of hand. I think that is more than enough building for right now. There's something we have been neglecting pretty much this whole video, and we've probably hit it a couple times, but we really need to get started on this quest book. Ooh, some new coins. So if we kill 15 pillagers and defeat a raid to get Hero of the Village, we will get 5 extra levels and this really cool looking sword. Or if we decide to enter the nether, we'll get 2 blaze rods and 10 XP levels, which will then allow us to get quartz, unlocking a ton of new challenges down the road. So I think that's what I want to do. Unfortunately, earlier I decided not to grab all the obsidian that we would need. But hey, we have one piece at least. I don't think that's gonna help us. Okay, before we do anything, I need to clear out these backpacks, which was a lot easier on paper. I have no storage. So on to plan B, and that is turning this place into my new storage shelter. Not much, but it will definitely work for now. And this chest will focus on stone related things. And in the next, we can focus on wood. And just cause we have a lot of it, I'll also throw in dirt. Jeez Louise, bro, that sugar cane's higher than my future. Unironically, it actually is almost becoming as tall as my base. So that's funny. I need to collect about 10 pieces of obsidian i think actually yeah we just need nine i don't know what i'm looking at okay i i don't like that goodbye did you want a trident i'll give you a trident oh baby <laughs> fun but no thanks i'm not interested in politics there's been a death who died that's my citizens right there oh my god he's still here ah Ah, no, 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 no. Where do I go? What do I do? That thing is so strong. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. No, that's my citizen. Uh, I got it? Question mark? <laughs> Hello? All right, so the coast is clear is what I'm hearing. Now that we've been thoroughly distracted, we can jump down here, making sure to break our ankles on every fall. Really hope that there's nothing scary down here because I just need to find lava. Ooh, wait, I can actually use my mini map to cheat a little bit. I will be heading this direction. And we should be approaching lava roughly now. Hey, there it is. Jeez, that took a lot of digging. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine there we go that should be everything we need that's ten perfect now to get back out that's gonna be a lot of fun whoosh oh shoot <laughs> i don't know exactly where to put the portal but i feel like in here isn't the worst place i could ever put it so i'm just gonna put it against the wall there we go how how nice it, it fits like a glove all right, Portal, it's just you and me. I'm scared. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea, but here we go. We appear to be falling rapidly. Oh, there we are. Oh, nice. I see that it gave me a very... The son of Hero Brine? Why would I want to fight that thing? All right, we're getting distracted. It seems to have spawned me in here. I swear this is not scripted. It just kind of happened. Um... Is this really where it decided to spawn me? This feels like the worst possible spawn I could have. Oh boy, and there's warped Enderman. If you watched my 100 days in the nether video, you might recognize this place a tiny bit. Why these chests are actually loaded. I was not expecting that. Let me just mark that off. Take away the spawner. Preferably take a couple of you out. I'm not talking on a date. Okay, that guy's a boss. Okay, there's a wither skeleton skull in here, along with two obsidian. Okay, uh, ideally, I get out of here. I don't know how. See, I'm not, I'm not a fan of all of you here. I'm gonna travel down here. Okay, nice. I'm feeling nice and safe and protected. Dude, what is with these spider webs? 
Lady Tom awakened. No, it's over. Okay, now if we can just get in this mountain, preferably away from the weird spider webs. All I need to do is find quartz. Okay, here we are, right here. This is what we need. And that should have. Yes, we've passed two more quests. We get blaze rods and 10 more levels of XP. And with the quartz, we get a champion coin. Another one of those, very nice. Now the next thing we need to work towards is bright steel alloy. Okay, so in order to make raw bright steel, we need glowstone, iron, glowstone, gold, iron, and quartz. That's not bad at all. Wait, we, we could actually make that. All we gotta do is grab some gold, mine around so mine around for some more quartz. Oh my goodness. I just jumped so bad. Does that ore explode? Why? Who programmed that? Well, we got six magnum chunks. Um, I think I pooped myself. Get out of here. I don't like the child eater. Not a fan of it. It's just still blazes shooting at me. Oh god, I need to be careful. I might actually end up dying here. Okay, so we need to stay away from these guys right here. They happen to be a very deadly mob that I don't want to tangle. That I don't want to tango with. I'm seeing a couple bastions on the map as well, which I don't think is a smart place for me to go currently. So really, all we need to do is focus on gathering quartz, which looks like it shouldn't be too bad. Oh my gosh, those blazes. Goodness, man. Oh, wait, we also found glowstone. That's perfect. Should I be nervous about dropping in here? Die! Oh. <laughs> well, this place is awfully vibrant. Okay, I think I have everything that's going to be of value for making that bright steel. Now, my only question is, how am I going to get back to my portal? My golden apple has been eaten. I am ready for war. Wait, where'd my trident go? Wait, if you throw your trident in lava, do you not get it back? Oh, please don't tell me I just threw my trident. Oh, it's back. I think it just had to sink to the bottom of the lava pit. I was so sad for a minute. Okay, uh, I'm gonna eat another golden apple. Because this place is really not safe. I just hope that I'm going to be able to find my portal like my only concern for right now break the chest why is it not breaking the chest look it's open break it break it some obsidian oh <gasps> portal 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 get me home get me home get me home that's enough of everything in here Are you serious? I can't believe that's how it ends. No, I had so many things I was going to do. Oh, that really sucks. Well, sorry to everybody. We made it really far, but I guess it just wasn't meant to be. This mod pack is seriously intense. I'd highly recommend giving it a try yourself. Can't believe the world got ended by a wither skeleton that got stuck in my portal. That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Well, I'm a floating head in the sky, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.